He pointed at me and said, That one won't stand up. The two policemen came near me and only one spoke to me. He asked me if the driver had asked me to stand up. I said, Yes. He asked me why I didn't stand up. I told him I didn't think I should have to stand up. So I asked him, Why do you push us around? And he told me, I don't know, but the law is the law, and you are under arrest. We, as a race of people, should learn to work more closely together. During the Montgomery bus boycott, we came together and remained unified for 381 days. It has never been done again. It has never been done again. The Montgomery boycott became the model for human rights throughout the world. We must learn from the past. We must learn from the past. The gains we made came about because blacks realized that it takes cooperation and determination. I said it takes cooperation and determination to make progress in their struggle towards equality. Did you hear me? Human dignity must be respected at all times. I would have, you see, compromised my dignity if I had buckled one more time to the white establishment and relinquished my seat, the mistreatment would have continued. I would have also compromised my dignity if I had resisted violently, not standing up on that bus was a matter of self-respect. Every day, I say every day of my life, I have wanted to be treated with respect. I say every day of my life, I have wanted to be treated with respect. I had expected and hoped that others would feel the same. But because of my race, I was denied that respect. And in many ways, that still happens among us today. Today, 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 in many ways, that still happens among us today. I want it to be treated with respect.